let's look at this trading strategy, trade life in the Forex market. We've compiled this entire system or strategy into a trading system. And this is built in Python. And you can see what it looks like here. For the symbol, we have USDJPY, which obviously means we are using the results of our financial analysis for USDJPY. And you're currently using a lot size of 0 0.5. You've used multiple lot sizes. And if you're going to be using this on, let's say, $10,000 accounts, I would suggest to use a lot size of 0 0.1. Okay. You can also use to use stop loss. What you just have to do is to set this to any boot and then you can use stop loss. But I don't advise using a stop loss in this scenario or take profit. For our target in percentage, we have a 10% target and a 5% stop out. Now this is more like an equity lock and is highly recommended. So. Let's say you have a $10,000 account. In this case here, the target or the profit for a month is about 10%. And for a stop out, it's about 5%. Which means if your equity gets to the profit target here, in this case, which is 12721 all trades will be closed and the bot is going to stop trading. Also, if it gets to your set target here in percentage, which is 5% set for us, which is 10,987, the tree is also going to be closed and bots will stop trading. The time frame here is the 15 minutes time frame. You can customize this to suit your settings. And once you do, you click on update inputs. And then you click on start trading or stop trading or go neutral if you are on a trade. Now let's look at how you can actually get this robot and how you can install it. To get this robot, head over to tradinghell.com and search for the trend following strategy for USDJPY. If you remember, we did the financial analysis for USDJPY and we also did for the USD100 and BTC USD. Hopefully in the future, we're going to provide for other pairs as well. But these are the current pairs for now. So the only one we have on trading canal right now is a trend following strategy for USDJPY. The other systems are ready, but they haven't been uploaded yet. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, just search for trend following strategy for USD 100 or BTC USD, and you can actually download it. So once you do that, you would get a file here called Trader. In this sense here, for the USDJPY, it doesn't have any model file. So this bot here doesn't use machine learning, right? There's no machine learning strategy integrated into this robot. But if you purchase it and you see a model file, it means it requires a model file to work. In this scenario there, just double tap on the trader file and it's going to open up. You're going to see a dashboard like this. It's going to also open up your Meta Trader 5. Make sure you're connected to the internet and then make sure you're logged into your account. It's going to open up your Meta Trader 5 and then it's going to start trading on your Meta Trader 5. So basically what this bot is doing is that it's getting data from MetaTrader 5, performing an independent analysis, and at the open of every candle, it would rerun the strategy conditions. And if it's necessary to go into a position, it's going to go into a position. If it's going to remain in a position, it's going to remain in a previous position. And if it's going to close a position, it's going to close a position. But the equity lock, which is the target and the stop out, runs on tick. So it doesn't matter if the candle hasn't closed yet, as long as your profit targets or your stop out has been reached, the trade will be closed and the robot's going to stop trading. This helps us set a percentage per month target. And once we hit that percentage, 
we can either stop trading or reduce our lot size further and continue trading. So that's basically how this bot works. But for the BTC USD and the SPX 500, you're obviously going to be using machine learning. In that case, I'm going to make an entire video for the installation for those systems. But in that case, all you need to do is to double tap on the file here. You can see this bot comes also with a terminal that shows you all the orders it has taken. Okay. And then you're going to see on the terminal here where it says error. And it's going to tell you the location where it's looking for .pkl file. All you need to do is to copy the file, the .pkl file, and paste it in the location where it's looking for it. In some systems, it's usually in the temp folder. In some, it isn't. So it's going to show you a location where it's looking for that .pkl file. And all you need to do is to paste it there. So going further, let's look at some of the traits this expert advisor has actually taken. Like I said earlier, we have been using different lot sizes. As you can see on the expert advisor, we're using a lot size of 0 0.5 currently. And you can see we've had two losing trades on 0 0.5. So this is about a $145 loss and also a $178 loss. Okay. So you can see the trade here. It took a buy trade here. It's got stopped out. It also took a buy trade here and got stopped out as well. If we had reduced this to 0 0.25, we'd probably get a loss of about 70 to 80 or $60, right? Which is roughly about 0 0.5 or 0.6% of your entire account. So whichever lot size you're comfortable with, I suggest using it. And I also suggest you using a very low lot size. You can see we had a buy trade here where we used a 0 0.25 lot size. And then going further here, you can see we had a buy trade here, which closed out in profit, roughly about $121 profit. And if we had used a 0 0.5 lot size here, we'll probably have about 300 to $40 in profit. Okay, so you can see we also had a couple of trades here. And then we also had a very big trade here. This was a buy trade that closed out in profit here. And if you go up here, you can see this was a $1,200 profit. You can also see we have also made a couple of trades as well. This was also a profit. And in cumulation here, we've made about seventeen five nine in profit, right? Using different lot sizes, of course. So you can actually um, look at these trades and compare them with the default ones on your backtest. So if I head over to my chart here, I can view the financial analysis. And then you can see the plot of the USJPY here. Okay. You can view the plots of the USDJPY here. Let me just go up here. You can view the buy positions, the sell positions, buy positions, sell positions. And you can actually see that they currently align with this chart here. If you want to perform a back test of this strategy to see how it works, all you need to do is to head over to the chart we download historical data for USDJPY for the 15 minutes time frame. This is currently on the H1, which shows how I won. This is for the US Tech 100. So change that and also change this to the USDJPY. Then when you run your financial analysis and then you view the individual trades here, you can actually see the backtest. And you can run this backtest in real time as well. So you can run it up to the current candle and see where the expert advisor is supposed to be in terms of position. So it's supposed to be in a buy position, a sell position, or a neutral position. This expert advisor has shown is actually profitable. And then the overall would make profits for you as long as the market trends. So we currently have an edge. 
which is our trading strategy. So as long as the market keeps trending over a period of 50 to 40 to 100 trades, we are going to be in profit. We could make a loss today. We could make a loss tomorrow. We could make a loss for the next five trades or for the next 10 trades. But when you look at the cumulative strategy performance over a period of 40 to 50 trades, you are likely going to be in profits.